Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and feelings and basically it's like a free therapy session for me. So I'm all about productivity as you guys know and productivity for me is uh, getting a lot accomplished. So I was like two in one, free therapy session and a YouTube video, productivity, am I right? So let's just get started. Number one is uh, my thoughts and feelings on, I am so lonely. So, 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 so lonely. But are we surprised it's the first one? No, you shouldn't be surprised. And if you are, that means you're not watching my YouTube videos, and that means you're probably not subscribed. So click that subscribe button down below. And, you know, it would make me feel a little bit less lonely knowing that, like, I have more people. You guys are like my friends. You guys are like my family. I know I have more people there for me and after you subscribe I wouldn't be as lonely as I am now and you would just make my day, my week, uh, my entire life so much better. So if you could please do that I'd be so appreciative of it. And with this being lonely um, I have learned many different things. I cry way too much. I look back on these pictures because you might be like, Stephanie, what are you talking about pictures and crying? Yes, I am that person who um, takes pictures of themselves while they're crying. For me, it makes me feel like my feelings are released. One of the reasons why me being lonely gets me so much is because if you know me personally or if you watch some of my videos, you know I am the type of person who wants to get married and have kids. and. Every single second of me being lonely is stopping from fulfilling my dream of that. And it's hard when you're stagnant, but then it's hard when you're stagnant and you literally feel like your life will never get to the point where you want it to be. And the thing is, I have baby fever. I am 19 years old and I have baby fever and I love babies and I love kids and I just want them so bad and it's like oh my god it's like the coolest thing to have a family at the end of the day you can't take anything with you but relationships are always the things that last may that be a relationship with friends may that be relationships with family may that be a relationship with God and Jesus and they're not materialistic materialistic things can fade away uh, but relationships kind of you know they can just like keep on building stronger and I love that and that's why family is so important Speaking about babies is actually, fun fact, um, so my sister always goes and gets the mail because she has so many packages that come in on a daily basis, so, you know, she was getting her mail like usual, and she opened it and she thought it was something with her dog. So, anyway, I kind of had to take a little break there because the camera started overheating, so it turned off, and my phone also had overheated too, um, but what do you expect? It's 103. But going on with what I was saying, talking about babies, um, my sister was getting the mail like usual. She gets a lot of packages in. Um, she thought she got something for her dog and she opened it and it was actually like a little baby romper. It was for a baby. And um, she was like, this is not mine. I opened somebody else's package. So she looked at the front and she realized she had opened someone else's package. It was put in our mailbox by accident. Um, so she found the address and we drove around our neighborhood and um, tried to find the person's house and drop it off. But when she did, she took a pen and she wrote on the box. She was like, sorry, I opened it accidentally. Like it was put in the wrong mailbox. Um, but congratulations on the baby. Um, after we did that, we <laughs> after she did that, she soon realized that maybe nobody in that family knows that they're having a baby. Maybe it's like a wife and she was going to tell her husband or something and that's the way she was going to surprise him. Um, I don't know. Like, I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad. So, like, I honestly, like, prayed that that did not happen because personally for me, like, when I get pregnant, I want my husband just to be as excited as I am to have a kid, like, I want them to want kids so bad and, like, um, be so excited. And so, honestly, if my, like, if I was pregnant and it got ruined like that, I would be pretty upset. So, I prayed that that did not happen because that would be really, really sad. Another thing is, like, quarantine. You can't really go a lot of places now, which is kind of, like, weird and it's throwing off my vibe a little bit like the other day I think it was actually yesterday like I was like 
I feel unproductive. I feel like I have done nothing. And it just felt weird. Because it feels like it should be fall for some reason, but it's so hot outside, you know it's summer. But you don't want summer to go. Like, you want summer to stay. But then you're kind of thinking fall would be nice. Like, the seasons fell off. And it rains so much in Florida, too. It's either, like, super, super hot or it's raining. So it just feels, like, dreary and weird. And, like, I just felt so weird yesterday. The vibe was, like, so off. So that's another thing. I feel like this quarantine thing is throwing everybody off. And if you want, comment down below if you're still in school. Comment down below if you're going back to school or you're doing online. I know a lot of schools who are not going back and they're doing online, which is perfectly fine as well. I feel like that's really good. That's safe. I mean, I am doing online, but I've done online for the past few years and I'm doing college online. So it's a little bit different. I enjoy it. It's definitely very, very hard because... You kind of have to like teach yourself and I do eight week courses so it's very fast paced but you know you just got to have a schedule and you got to like keep on top of it and it's I'm not going to lie and say it's not hard sometimes because it definitely is but you know what the reward is so rewarding and knowing that I'm going to have a degree at the end of this is very rewarding too. Also if you want me to do a video on like tips and tricks for doing online school I could because I've done online school for years. So I know what it's like in high school. I know what it's like for college. I even kind of know what it is for junior high because I went to public school throughout all of elementary school and then a little bit of junior high and then I became homeschooled. So I did online school for like the rest of junior high and then high school and then now I'm in college. So I definitely could give you like tips and tricks on that and I definitely want to do like back to school videos of like just staying organized and all that kind of stuff because if you know me, I love organization. I'm like a minimalist. I love minimalism and I also want to do a room tour because you'd be surprised like how little I have in my room but I'm actually redoing my room right now so I will post a video of like the process of me redoing my room and then I will do a video on a room tour. You know how about we can have a good conversation back and forth. You can talk about your problems to me like you know Dora the Explorer. She's like should we go right? Wait I literally oh my god I literally pointed to the left when I said right um but she's like should I go right or should I go left? I don't know. Yep, you're right. Uh, oh, I, that's probably why I'm single. I'm so awkward. Like, why does this keep on happening to me? And then she's like, that's right. I should go right. Or, you know, like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They're like, Miska, Muska, Mickey Mouse. And then his like tools. He's like, we have to dig a hole. Should we use... The shovel, a hammer, or an airplane? And they're like, yep, that's right, a shovel. It's like, you know what, I feel like I can have that mutual connection. So I'm going to have that right now. How are you guys doing? Great, that's amazing. Or if you're not doing so well. Do something that makes you feel productive today. And if you're just not feeling it, that's okay. People have those days and... You'll get through it and keep your head up and you're going to accomplish great things. And if you want to like share your feelings to me, just get it out. I'll give you like 10 seconds. I'm glad that you got your emotions out and your feelings and your thoughts. Um, I'm proud of you. I don't know what to you. It's kind of nerve wracking. You're like growing up figuring stuff out but I love the person that I am and like I love that I am experiencing growth and, and I'm like wanting to see more growth and experience more growth because I think that's what's life about it's about just growing and evolving into the person that you want to be and that you're called to be and everybody has a plan and a purpose thank you for this free therapy session I honestly really really enjoyed it my DMs are always open so if you have any video ideas or you want to DM me I will leave my Instagram here and I will link it down below. I can't wait to see you in my next video. If you haven't already make sure to subscribe. I would be so appreciative of it and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!